Would you sell your tickets for five thousand dollars? No, no. My parents are gonna kill me. Uh, five thousand dollars, no. bro. <laughs> five thousand. Fifty thousand dollars. $50,000, that's a lot of money. That's there definitely is a price. You see, this is what the cold does to you. The angry, we turn on each other, you know. What's up, guys? Ethan here. I had a great video for you today. Today, we're gonna go to Kville and check out the people tinting. Uh, for, you, for those of you that don't know, tinting is a huge deal on campus. It's like Duke's biggest tradition. For the Duke UNC game, that's a huge game. And the only way you can get in is by camping outside for a month. I don't understand it, but we're gonna go ask people why they do it and not try to understand it. So let's go. Introduce you guys yourselves to the people. So the first thing I wanna ask though is I know UNC has been known to come to Kville and interview Duke students okay. about about tenting and trying to make them look stupid. Duke? So yeah. do you have any like proof for me that you go that you really do go to point. Duke? My name's Steven. Part of 10 LLL, Krzyzewski Street. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a super sophomore. What does that mean? I took a gap here. Oh, okay. I'm Eric Chi, uh, studying electrical engineering. I'm a junior. Uh, Laya Tumala, a uh, bio junior. Uh, Billy LeCue, uh, EE, and junior as well. Okay, all juniors. And then your friend just left, but that's okay. Oh, okay, okay. He's in lecture right now. <laughs> this is so unnecessary. Hold on, it's like loading. <laughs> My name's Cece, I'm a freshman, and I'm also DKU, which is its own little thing. Um, I'm Anthony Ramirez, freshman, and DME, biomedical engineering. By the way, Anthony is lives right next door to me, but now he's gone, he's tensing. He left me. I believe you. You don't believe me? I've never been asked you, this I believe you, but I just before. also want proof. Hi, okay. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Sorry about that. No. Uh, my name is Ben. I'm a senior uh, majoring in CS Econ. Solid. I'm Caroline. I'm also a senior majoring in Pub Pop. Okay, awesome. First question, and this is a hard one. Why are you guys so crazy? Why are we so crazy? Yeah, because this is crazy. What are you doing? <laughs> I think the best answer I can give to that is I don't know. Um, I think this is just, you can't really put a reason on why you're crazy. You just kind of end up being crazy. It just kind of happens. Bro, you guys are sleeping 20 degrees below weather. Like, like there's gotta be a reason for this. I don't know. Maybe your mom dropped you when you were little. Like, <laughs> I feel like we get to roll. In, it's this, but we get to roll in for free to something that a lot of people don't get to go see ever. So this is crazy what you're doing. Oh no, yeah. Like this is this is beyond human capacity right here. Nah. I think it's just because like the Lyme martyrs created artificial demand for this, right? If we, if we were normal school, right? We wouldn't be setting up this early, but they're like, no, in order to get into Coach K's last game, you have to do this. So, That's facts too. Coach you know, K's we want to be at Coach K's last game, but, right? So exactly. What you need to do is say, no, we're not going to do this. Protest and then make it so it's a yeah, normal it's a day. collective action problem. So now you, have, now you have a game theory collective action problem. <laughs> so then everybody has to say that. But if there's one person that's crazy enough to do it, then they'll do it, they'll get an advantage. And then the rest of us are screwed over. There's always gonna be that one dissenter. Okay, okay. I would never do this. I, I would never no, do I this. I don't blame me either. It's, it's yeah. how, how, how many times have you guys done this? Is this your first time? This is our first time, yeah. Yeah, because the whole COVID year kind of messed everything up yeah. sophomore year, so we were like, gotta do it. Especially because it's Coach K's last year, you know? So, yeah, yeah, how to step up for it, yeah. I don't want to like offend you guys, but why are you so crazy? Um, I don't know. I mean, my mom went to Duke, so. Did, did your mom drop you on your head? <laughs> um, I don't know. You know, that's a good possibility. Um, but she went to Duke and my dad went to state and I kind of like grew up liking Duke, but we went to a lot of state games. And then I went to my first basketball game here as a student uh, at the beginning of the year. And then I just started going to every single one. And I live in Raleigh, so like over break, I was going to every game and I Ooh, dress up dude. for all the games and everything. Wow. So yeah. <laughs> what about you, Anthony? Um, it's Coach K's last season, last UNC versus Duke game. I think if you're gonna tent, this is like the one season to do it. I don't plan to tent after this because this is crazy. <laughs> so this would be my one and done. That's the reason why I'm doing Thanks, it. Man. Coach K's last season. Thanks, man. See, no, actually, I would argue that this is the worst time to do it because you're a freshman, you live on East Campus, and that is just that. That's a huge hassle. What's the worst thing about tenting for for the people? 
the cold at night for sure. Bro, it's like it's like 20 degrees at night for context. Yeah. That is not fun. I'm chilling in, in my dorm, um, just in pain thinking about you guys. <laughs> What's the worst thing about Tinting so far? Oh, 4 a.m. chat. Last night, the line monitors literally ran up at like 4 a.m., like blaring their horns, made everyone get up out of their bed. Also, their really horns are just getting progressively like quieter and quieter. So you shy. have to be more and more no awake. Way. Yeah, like 4 a.m., more and more awake. I'm, I'm telling you, like, asleep, I, I was sleeping yeah. in the tent and like the person next to me, he was sound asleep. Like, I barely got up and like I was like, hey, yo, wake up. No and he was like, way. he was snoring his brains out. He was like, all that no. stuff. And I was How like, do you guys stand for this? I would not, I would be so mad at whoever wakes me up. But I was like, if they say something to me, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be cursing them out. I was like, don't talk to me. Question, why are we crazy enough to do this, right? It all, it all boils down to that. You gotta just sleepwalk <laughs> up to the check and just sleepwalk back and just fall back asleep. Nice. That, that, that's a little too much. It's gotten pretty cold and my hands have definitely started like callousing from all, all the cracking. Um, but I think it's gonna be the worst when the rain comes and we're trying to figure out our tarp situation. So like if that doesn't hold up right, then that'll be bad. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, sleeping on pallets, that's pretty uncomfortable. I don't have a sleeping pad. I just kind of like layer a bunch of blankets and stuff. Um, for me, the cold hasn't been that bad. I did get really cold last night. It was about 27 degrees, but the rain, when that comes, that's gonna be really bad. Snow apparently this weekend, but that worst part, definitely just sleeping. Uh, how long are you guys here during the day on average? Ooh, for me, I'd say uh, like daily, probably like three to four hours for me. Yeah, we usually have like, so this man is in charge of setting up the schedule. He's a mastermind. He's a mastermind. He's a head honcho right We've here. usually set it to our like periods of like three and a half hours. Like, three, three, three. Yeah, but if, if the weather's nice, we kind of just hang out here anyways. That's true. I mean, it's kind of cloudy, little, hang out. but yeah. it's like when it's sunny and it's, it's nice to just do work and chill. Okay. Nighttime is a different story though. No one wants to be here at nighttime. No one wants, no to, be one wants to be here. I, I, know, I know you don't want to be here. I don't want to be here at nighttime. I'm going to sleep like here. It's about to be my fourth <laughs> night out tonight, so. Jeez. Be, yes. Wait, how, how, long, how, how long are you guys going to do this for? How long does it go? Yeah, wow. It's February 25th. Yeah. That's when it ends. And this is the fourth day? Yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah so. fourth day. And our, our morale is already like up. Man, it's on the ground right now. Let's Can you guys quit? Is that an option? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure. No, no, none of us will. Like, yeah. we're, we're like, we're no steal a little okay. how, how, how much do you, are you actually sleeping in, at nighttime? Uh, like every day or? We have to have six at night, so it's like three to four nights a week. Wow. How much do you guys miss your bed? I would give anything to sleep in my bed right now, man. <laughs> Straight <laughs> up. <laughs> okay, you're gonna, you know that part, but, uh, what, what, what do you say? <laughs> yeah, he's roasting one of our friends, you just said you ugly. You see, this is what the cold does to you. This is what, this is this is what successive nights sleeping in the tent happens. I, I see that. You get angry, we turn on each other. You know. Yeah, that's. that's Pepper's flaring out here, man. It's, it's getting rough. It is. It's getting dude. rough. Let's see. Um, a couple more. Man, you're out here just shouting. <laughs> you can't see him, but yeah, he he he's in there yelling. He's he's mad right now. Yeah, I, can, I can talk. I can I can hear him. I can hear him. No, he's very animated. <laughs> he, get, he, get, he gets the energy going for <laughs> How much do you guys miss your bed? <laughs> hey, I answered first for the last one. Oh, yeah. um, I'm doing okay this far. I'm, I'm, we're only here like half the time, so it's not that bad. Okay, okay. You got it, you got it. By senior year, you're real good at the tent to feel it's just like home. How, how long have you done this? Uh, I've tented every year, except uh, for Same. Yeah. Same. Wow. Okay, that's, that's pretty <laughs> nice. By the way, do you want to be part of the video too? Okay, come come over here. I'm gonna get up out of this chair. Yeah, you you get you get to. Oh, they're actually doing a check right now. That's what, what, what that is, noise what is. What is that? Uh, that that means we have to go to line monitors and prove that uh, we have enough people here because we have to have two during the day at all times. Wow, that is crazy. And and then you're there too. Yeah. Okay. And at night we have to have six right now. So, you know, you wake up at four in the morning and you just hear these sirens. It's four in the morning? Yeah. No oh, yeah. way. So they got us at, uh, they got us at, I think, midnight last night, 3 a.m. and then 7 a.m. So you had to be awake at 3 a.m., like all oh, six yeah. of you? Oh, yeah. Bro, that is, that is too much. What's the best thing, if there is a good thing? I mean, the community, it's, it's always a good time in Kville and 
Uh, just getting to know your tent is always always a good time, and living together is a, in a in a tent is a little different than living together in dorms. So you get to know each other in ways you may not otherwise, but it's it's fun. It's fun. So yeah. Anything else to add? Um yeah, this is like a unique experience. I don't think this I, I didn't plan to go to a school that tented. I guess this was just very random. <laughs> But it's an experience I wanted to live, and yeah, it's been really nice. The games are fun. You probably go to every single basketball game. They're always fun because you're, you live right here. You might as well go. Walk up line is easy. And yeah, I think the community. Everyone's always like playing music at night. It's pretty fun. I like the community. Is nice. <laughs> I, that was a really good. Point. Oh yeah. Is, isn't everyone else up at like 4 a.m. too? Yeah, That's yeah. the other thing. Because the because of the lines. Yeah. The big booty uh, remixes are kind of you know. They're a little bit much when you hear them every night, but... Wait, explain this. I don't know about the Big Booty remixes. <laughs> um, I don't know if they're all specifically, you know, Big Booty remixes, but if you if you look it up, it's just basically like what you'd hear at like a frat party, just like, you know, one classic like party song into the next. And they're, you know, they're good um, until, you know, the remixes aren't good and the songs don't match up and they're overplayed, so... And why, why are you hearing these? Big booty remixes. Because people love playing them in cable. That's the only range of music you ever get. So, okay, yeah. That's, that's a little annoying. I'm more of like an Elton John kind of guy, but I guess that's good too. <laughs> so what's the best thing about Tintin? Um, mix between just getting really close with everyone in the tent and also just getting really good seats at the games. Do you know what seats you're going to get? We find out later there's a test to determine the order. So what's it, what's it like to with your friends? How's that experience? <laughs> is it bad? There's. I think it's good. I think the best part is that even when you're not on, like in the tent technically, if you're on campus, you know where everyone you know is. You don't have to do any of the like, hey, where are you? Find my friends up because everyone is yeah. here. <laughs> Yeah, true. And like a, a lot of us park in Blue Zone because we live off campus, so we walk to class through here, so you just like stop by the tent a lot. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's a ton of fun, like with your friends all the time, basically. So you guys like feel closer or anything? Like there's gotta be some pros to this terrible <laughs> event that you guys do. I feel like you, you get to know people on a different level when it's yeah. like 4 a.m. and 27 degrees. Right, you here. guys just did the, you gotta, you have to line up every, at random times. Why 4 a.m.? Why can't Keep they? Why can't they do 7 a.m.? <laughs> yeah. is, 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 is it like random times? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> how how big of a Duke basketball fans are you guys? <laughs> do you have to be pretty big fans to do this? Well, uh, we're the we're the Sesame Street gang, so. Oh, so yeah. you guys are wearing like the. Oh Obo yeah. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah. We're, we're crazy enough to wear uh, costumes of children's characters <laughs> live on ESPN. Let's just say that. That, that, I've seen you guys. Okay. Yeah. How many costumes do you guys have? 12. We, yeah, we all have one. 12? Yeah, he's Elmo and I'm Big Bird. Wow. <laughs> what, what happens when you graduate? Are you guys going to carry the tradition on? Or? That's the hope. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who the, started the, this? Cookie Monster. Uh, his name is Parker Betts. Okay. Yeah. Um, he's, he's looking to pass on the tradition yeah. of Cookie Monster on the future generations here so we're trying to figure that out right now that is so awesome it's so much fun honestly yeah because yeah. it's you know if anything we're just known for this right <laughs> for just wearing the sesame street costumes of the games that it's is awesome. so awesome yeah. does, it, does it get hot in the suits oh <laughs> most definitely I'm, I'm sweating my balls off all game but it's so worth it I could not imagine. It so looks it so just hot. Just go back and uh, see like highlights from right. ESPN and stuff. I'm just them zooming in on us in our I, I, I see you guys all the time. I see you guys all the time. Yeah. But I'm like, oh my god, it's gotta be hot. It's so worth it. That's, that's so fun, though. Favorite players on the team? Oh, so be. for the test, I uh, studied Trevor Keel, so I, I did learn to like him a lot. But our tent is named after Mark Williams, so I oh. think it's gotta be him. Okay. Uh, Paulus on the team. <laughs> I, I he he's awesome. Wait, how, how tall is he? He's like 
7'1". Seven, seven, okay, because yeah. Stanley's 7 foot. Stan I thought Stanley's he was... 7 foot, yeah. Okay. And we, we know that partially because our tent is 7'1". Seven, seven, <laughs> is it actually? Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's so funny. I think it's got to be Mark. I am also from Virginia, and he is from <laughs> okay. Virginia, so... Okay. I gotta go with Dell this season, man. He's been showing out. You know, he was he was here our freshman year. He's a junior, same with us. He had that amazing uh, putback uh, win against North Carolina freshman year, so... Gotta respect the captain, you know? Captain Zero. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say Wendell and also Paolo, just for how talented he is. Favorite players on the team? Um, I'm a big Paolo fan for, uh, my original tent was not this tenting group, but... When, Shade. I know, yeah, but when we uh, were studying for the, for the uh, tenting test, I studied him, and I don't know, he's cool, pretty cool guy. I know a lot about him now, so, <laughs> yeah. Solid. Yeah, um, my group actually passed the test, um, then we recruited her. Um, but my favorite player is AJ Griffin. Underrated, has the highest three-point percentage, really good, great player. I, I like AJ Griffin. Yeah, AJ is awesome. Have you guys met any players? Um, I, well, Stanley, yes. Uh, I, you know, if you haven't met Stanley, then you haven't been in k I guess. Uh, not technically a player, but uh, John Shire, uh, Kind of, he came and was bringing his kids around and Aww. was looking at the tent and all that. So that was cool. Um, closest encounter with the player was after countdown, like at 8 a.m. I saw Trevor Keels on the bus. You were like sitting in front of me, in front of me, but I was like dead tired because I stayed up the whole night. Closest thing I've like been to meeting the player. I guess. You guys know any of the players? I don't. That's so funny. So, <laughs> kind of, yeah. not really, but I. I have Stanley's phone number and he has my phone number. Really? Yeah. Stanley likes to hang out. Stanley likes to come yeah. talk to the crazies, hang yeah. out with people. Yes. Stanley, Stanley's giving his phone number to everyone. I have his phone number. Oh, nice. And I, I've texted him, but he's not responded. Stanley, you gotta respond to me, man. He, he does not respond. You, you guys, need see if he responds. I think he gets fake phone numbers out or something. Really? Wow. Because like, like, I'm texting him like funny stuff and he's just not responding. Maybe you're overestimating how funny No, no, no it's, it's funny, it's funny. As I'm like sending the text, I'm like dying of laughter. So like. So it's gotta be funny. It's, it's some funny stuff. No, no, some of us yeah. have had classes with some of the players. Yeah. But. Yeah, one of our friends, like, literally. He's, he's quite kind of close to Spencer Hubbard. Yeah, he, li he has Spencer in the class. He just, he literally got a snap the other day. He just walked up. He's like, hey, yo, Spencer, let me get a snap. And he's like, all right. And then, there they are now, yeah. Okay, uh, last question. Okay, last question. Last question. Last, last question. Would you sell your tickets for $5,000? Well, I know, I, know, I know the old man over here. I don't think I would. Phone. You would not $5,000. No. Bro, <laughs> 5000 What about you? Coach K's last season? Hell no. <laughs> this is history, man. You can buy a ticket for $5,000 right now. You can buy a ticket for $5,000 right now. What about $10,000? My parents are going to kill me. 10000 <laughs> no, no, like ten thousand dollars, literally just for a ticket. What about like ten thousand dollars? No. <laughs> what, 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 what would you sell? Uh, you want to pay my tuition? Twenty-five. Fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars. That's a lot of that's that's a lot of money. We get a hundred thousand dollars. That's that's kind of. Well, I, I feel like if you look at this, especially if it's Coach K's last season, mm. this is like a once in a lifetime thing. Like this is a once in a lifetime experience. And it's so, my senior game. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's his last senior season. game. <laughs> well, like, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a number. A hundred thousand. That, 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 that's a lot of money. Hundred thousand. Full like salary. I don't want to put a number on it. Like some would say it's priceless. Yeah, some would, some would, some, <laughs> somebody okay, could say that. Are you saying it's priceless? It sounds like you're saying it's like it's pretty, pretty darn close. Oh. My number is easy. It's like 250K. Easy. Or 100K. Okay, or 50K. <laughs> if I can make a lot right, of money. The number's going low. <laughs> just, I would like to get paid for this. <laughs> this is a lot. Okay, thank you guys so much. No, it's uh, Coach K's last season A, B, um, I am what they would call it, Cameron Crazy, and I love being at the game, and C, I mean, like, C, okay. I don't, I don't, like, I don't know, the money's good, but I don't know money what is good. it for. I, I'd probably just use it to buy more tenting stuff. <laughs> That's a terrible, you could use it for, like, a Gucci shirt, I don't know, $250,000. Nah, nah. 250,000. So nah, literally... bro. Hey, hey, 
in, in this case, it's about the experience. It's not about the bank, man. That's true. And like, it's also about, like, the like, tuition and... Coach K's last game just to sell the ticket. Max, you wanna go everyone's going to see you as a narc bro, if you do that, you know? No, you, you want to be the guy that tinted out, and now he pays for his tuition through tinting. My tuition's paid for, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I got to worry about that. I got to worry about that, but... Yeah, that's crazy. I would sell him like 50 k If you gave me 50 k I'd be done. Like, but I'd take 250 k I'd like negotiate. But like, I'm I'm chilling at 50 k That's like a, that's like a life changer right there. There's not like a solid number. What if it was like a hundred thousand? A hundred thousand, you have to. I haven't thought about it enough. I'm just depends I'm where we end up. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. It depends where we end up. Front okay. row? Hell no, not selling that. Got you. Got yeah. you. All right, thank you guys so much. Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Not for 5000 but there definitely is a price. I know like four tickets, I think courtside were sold for about a million in total, 250000 each. So if someone offered me a student section ticket for about 40000 which is really close, it's courtside, I'd definitely sell my ticket for $40,000. That's what I like to do. I know it's I know it's Coach K's last season, but um, two two months and $40,000, that's twenty k a month. I think that's a pretty good profit. Exactly. i definitely sell my tickets. Exactly. Anything above 40000 I'd sell my tickets. That's what I'm saying. My, my number is 50000 That's what I said. Smart guy right here. He's going to go places. Also smart, but uh, she's very <laughs> dedicated. She's very crazy. That's the right word. Okay, thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. I couldn't do that now. I mean, this is our goat, you know? We got to show up for the last game. This is not okay. our goat. This is the goat. Like, this is going to hey, be he, in history. He's it's, spitting right now. This, this is the goat. This is Duke okay. College basketball right here. This, the, may, the way this man, like, revitalized, like, this program. Exactly. And then... Raise it, it from it's the ground just up. such a big yeah. deal. Yeah, I feel like he's been here for 42 years. Like, this is just a big moment. That's and literally double like my age. age I you're going to see so many, you're gonna see so many That's people my age, that are going to come to this game, so many important people, because they understand this is a big moment in basketball history. What's going to happen? This is the end of it. Oh, yeah, sure. We're probably going to see, like, all NBA players, NFL players, celebrities. They'll come up. Shit, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean exactly. if Obama came to the <laughs> yeah, UNC Obama game two the years ago, imagine who's going to come now, right? So this is extremely important to the game, and I feel like, it's kind of, it's kind of priceless in a way. It is kind of priceless. Okay, okay. Well, I'm ready for you guys. Yeah, appreciate Thank it. you so much. Yeah. Awesome. Take care now. Yeah. 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 Oh, my hands so cold. <laughs> <laughs>